Hi everyone, in this video we're going to take a quick look at a book that you can use to self-study analysis. I have it right here. It's called Understanding Analysis and it was written by Stephen Abbott. This is a really nice book published by Springer that you can use to self-study. Now, this book doesn't have as much content as some other analysis books. It has less, but what it does have, it does well. It's really well written and it has nice clean proofs and great explanations. So I don't really think, you know, you, you could just get a better explanation than some of the explanations that you see in this book. Um, there's just like no way to improve. Uh, it's really, really good. So let's take a look at the content so you can see what it contains. I should also mention that even if you get this book, it's still going to be really, really hard. Real analysis, aka advanced calculus, takes a lot of work and a lot of effort. So yeah, it's, it's hard for everyone. And look at the copyright. I believe it's like 2000, 2001. There it is, 2001. Here's the preface. My primary goal in writing understanding analysis was to create an elementary one semester book that exposes students to the rich rewards inherent in taking a mathematically rigorous approach to the study of functions of a real variable. And he picks uh, specific topics. Let me, let me show you the topics he covers. Look at the content. So he starts with the real numbers, um, the axiom of completeness, consequences of completeness, Cantor's theorem, then sequences and series. Okay, so he does both. Then basic topology of R. Then he talks about limits and continuity. That's chapter four. And then over here we have the derivative. And then sequences and series of functions. The Riemann integral. And then some additional topics here. Um, I'm just going to give it a whiff here. I just, it's just calling me. Sorry. Just Ah, oh, yeah. It smells nice and clean. What's this? Properties of infinite series. So a lot of the material in this book is going to seem familiar. If you know calculus, for example, infinite series, these are something that you study in calculus too. So in an analysis course, it's kind of like you see a lot of the calc topics again, but you also do see some new things and, you know, new, like you don't see the Cauchy criterion for series <laughs> in a calc two course. Let's look at this. It says this series, this infinite sum from k equals one to infinity of a sub k converges if and only if given epsilon greater than zero, there exists a natural number capital N such that whenever little n is bigger than, strictly strictly bigger than little m, which, and they're both greater than or equal to big n, it follows that the sum can be made less than epsilon. Cool. There's, there's different ways to write this. You can write it a little bit differently as well. This is the uh, geometric series. This is something that I remember deriving in Calc 2. Um, our teacher told us to, to find a formula where, I'll just show you right here. You see how here it starts at zero? So our teacher told us to go home and find a formula um, when k is equal to, let's say, m. And, we're, and m is a positive integer, let's say. You know, what, uh, what is the sum of the series, assuming that the absolute value of r is, is less than 1. Right, because that's when you get convergence. Right here, you see. Pretty cool, right? Pretty cool stuff. So there's a lot of stuff in here that you might have seen. Alternating series tests, this is also from calculus too. Uh-huh. Let a sub n be a sequence, satisfying. So we've got a sub 1 greater than or equal to a sub 2, greater than or equal to a sub 3, etc. And the limit as n approaches infinity of the sequence a sub n is equal to 0. That's what that means. Then the alternating series converges. Uh, you know, a comment about the alternating series test, this is something that Calc 2 students always mess up on. It only talks about convergence, right? It says nothing about divergence. So I've taught a lot of Calc 2 classes, and sometimes people will say, divergence about the alternating series test. I'm like, no, the alternating series test does not discuss divergence. Uh, fun times. Yeah, math is tough. This is a good book. Um, it doesn't have... Tons of stuff, but it's got a lot of good stuff. Abel's theorem. So you've got a, a lot of unique topics. Oh, and here is the, the man, the legend himself, Stephen Abbott. There he is. Yeah, pretty cool book. I'll try to leave a link in the description uh, in case you uh, want to check it out. Check out my courses. They're on Udemy. But if you get them, use the links from the description of this video for two reasons. One, it helps me. 
And two, I've lowered the prices to the bare minimum, so you should get a low price. But yeah, Understanding Analysis by Stephen Abbott. Nice, solid analysis book. Should you buy it? Yes. I think you should have as many analysis books as you can afford. This is why I have so many books. These are just some of my books. Look over here. Look, I've got more. There's more books over here. Look at this. Books everywhere, right? Yeah. Anyways, pretty cool book. I wanted to show it to you. Keep doing math.